there and welcome to another episode of this channel. <laughs> uh, so today I want to talk to you guys about something that happened to me today that's really freaky. Uh, I, I, I thought it was really freaky because, because I was scared. I have one word for you, cockroaches <coughs> or cockroach, singular cockroach so you know when it's that time of the morning you're kind of waking up but you're kind of sleeping at the same time and you're not entirely all there yet but you're getting there it's like the alarm clock is ringing and you're just ooh, sorry a add moment but the alarm clock is ringing and you're still in bed and you're not wanting to get out of that thing you know your eyes are starting to open but you're kind of not sure if they want to open well this morning i was going through that particular phase but the difference is that as i was going through that particular phase i felt something on my face like something prickly and weird and hard as i became aware of things that were around me i realized that the hard prickly thing on my face was a cockroach. I mean, it literally was just like this thing was sitting on my face and it was just like... No. Have you ever had a cockroach on your face? Well, <laughs> I have some news for you. You probably have. Now, my saving grace, if there is a saving grace, is the fact that this cockroach was not one of these, but rather was one of these. So it wasn't entirely a, a big ordeal, or should I say like a really big cockroach sitting on my face, but still, it's gross. I mean, you're you're waking up and you're expecting to have a wonderful day. The birds are chirping outside and your dog is sitting right beside you and there's something sitting on your face that just should never be there, ever. Ever. Cockroaches are actually very interesting creatures. I mean, they are. Don't act all high and mighty if you think you're not exposed to cockroaches on a daily basis. I got something really nasty for you to uh, sink your teeth into. Did you know that... <laughs> Did you know that there are actually about eight insect parts... <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. Did you know that there are actually eight insect parts in your chocolate bar. That's right, you've probably consumed about eight insect parts every time you eat a chocolate bar. Why? See, the FDA deems anything below 60 insect parts per 100 grams of whatever you're trying to make to be safe for human consumption. In fact, you know how some people are allergic to chocolate? I, which is, oh my God, I feel so bad for you poor thing. Well, it's been suggested that these people might not be allergic to chocolate per se, but might in fact be allergic to cockroaches. <coughs> yeah. Here's something completely somewhat unrelated. In China, they have this weird thing called cockroach farming. Thank you, China. And what's even worse is that the industry is booming. From 2010 to 2013, this cockroach farming industry has enjoyed a significant boost. Apparently, the cockroaches are dried up and turned into this powder that is then used for remedies. Ew. If I see a cockroach flying around anywhere, I'm already reaching for that chancleta. You know what I'm talking about. Uh-uh, I ain't having no cockroach running around my floor. Mm-mm, no sir, no thank you. In an ironic twist of scientific research, it's actually been found that the cells or the nerve, wait, what? Has been found to kill 90% of MRSA and E. coli with no harmful effects to humans, which is really weird and promising, but it's cockroaches. I'm still traumatized from having a cockroach on my face. Needless to say, I washed my face about 50 times. Maybe a hundred. Maybe a thousand. Okay, I washed it a lot. So do you have any wonderful cockroach stories to tell? I would love to read them. Put them down in the comments below. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. So until next time, peace.